So how much power do your autometer gauges actually draw? Uh, we wanted to find out, so we took this set of six typical gauges you'd find in a vehicle, uh, wired everything up, and hooked our trusty ammeter in to find out. So uh, let's go ahead and power up the set and see what we've got here. Now this is static powered, there's no signal going through them, this is just enough to turn the gauges on. And what we can see on the meter here is about, well, less than a half an amp, really, to get all six gauges up and running. Now, when the gauges are actually functioning, measuring something, uh, we're going to see a little bit more power draw. So let's start with attack and speedo here and send a signal to them and see how it reacts. So uh, basically negligible. We're not, we're not seeing much of a power draw there. Now, let's look at the four ancillary gauges. Obviously, our voltmeter is already powered up. Uh, from our 12 volt supply, uh, but the other three gauges, the air core in them is going to draw the most amount of power uh, when they're at full deflection. So we're going to send a signal to peg all of those gauges out right now. And we see there it peaks, peaks out all six gauges with a signal going to them, uh, less than three quarters of an amp. So based on this information, we can assume that it's safe to use a one, two, eh, three amp fuse to protect the entire circuit. So one of the things you might have noticed uh, from the out view is when we supplied a signal uh, to the gauges, the oil pressure gauge, because it's designed to be very responsive and very quick, immediately jumped over to 100 PSI, whereas the fuel gauge kind of took its sweet time and get there. Let's go ahead and power those up and see. And the oil pressure gauge is instantaneous. Let's see it one more time here. Fuel gauge is all the way down. Now the reason this is done, obviously, we want the oil pressure gauge to be as responsive as possible. Uh, but with the fuel gauge, we dampen the meter movement to help compensate for some of the fuel slosh that you'll see in the tank. So just wanted to, to point that out to you there.